So that's, that's and there's other examples in the, in the scriptures of of men of the Lord that have dealt with women of the other nations, you know. But yeah. but you know what? You guys are not gonna get it because it's not you're not gonna get it. You're not meant to get it. You don't understand the difference between marrying a woman of another nation and having a concubine. And furthermore, if I may, Elder Ta already brought it out that the women sometimes the women we deal with that are of other nations, they may be Israelites because we deal with the Irish and the Italians. And a lot of them Italian women, a lot of them Irish women. I we used to live. A lot of them Spaniard women. There you go. All throughout Israel is all throughout Europe, man. Remember, Israel is all throughout the planet Earth. Yeah. You got a lot of people, uh, Vietnamese people that are Israelites. You got a lot of Filipinos that are Israelites because you had Gad down there during the time of World War II. You had Judah down there. You had Gad down there. You had Ephraim down there. Yep. You had Issachar down there. So we, so yeah, war babies, they call them. So we were literally all, all throughout Italy, southern Italy, as we always talk about southern Italy, northern Italy, man. Yeah, northern you got Israelites all up. Because when you go back to the Roman Empire, that was a, a metropolis, yeah. which means a mother city, which you had a lot of mixing of Israel among other nations, man. So you, you, there's nothing deep about you guys, man. You guys are not deep. You, and you've never been anywhere. Your whole world is this small. You know, it could fit on, the, on your index yeah, I finger. The video on, uh, I was going into them Sicilian women. I was showing the pictures. Yep. And all them brothers, were, most of them brothers that were commenting, they were amazed. And they thought I actually went, lived in Italy, man. <laughs> no, I do a lot of research, man. That's right. I check out a lot of things, man. That's right. Oh, I didn't know that they looked like that. Not getting on y'all. But right. y'all got to broaden your horizon, man. Broaden your horizon. You know? That's right. That's right. Hey, we used to live, Elder Ramlab and myself, we used to live up in Massachusetts. There's a huge Irish community up there. And let me tell you, I've been around those women. Those are, those are, those are so-called black women in uh, Edomite skin, man. I've been around them, all right? The way they act, the way they talk, their mannerisms. And we've also dealt with uh, Italian women. A lot of them are... But those uh, guys are... They're, they're not, their minds are not. Yeah, can't process. The elevator don't go to the top floor spiritually. Yeah, the elevator is. don't that go is. to the top floor, so they don't see things in the spirit, man. That's you it. You know, that's right. it. Now, there was a movie that came out back in two thousand eight called uh, uh, "The Miracle at Santa Ana." You know, which was a Spike Lee joint. It's on YouTube. Yeah. You, watch whole movie. Yep. you can watch the whole movie on YouTube. The whole movie on YouTube. Matter of fact, go to go to the YouTube. Go go to get another. Open up another. What you call that? A window, page. What the hell you call that? Tab, tab, and put in that the, the title of that movie, and you can see the whole movie. Hell, we might see it tonight. Hey, you can see the whole movie on uh, YouTube. Basically, what it was, it was it took place during World War Two, in uh, Tuscany, Italy. You know, and basically what happened, you had these jakes that were trapped in there during that war. You know, and then they had the one Jake that was popping the the uh, Italian chick. He was having sex with her. You know, because anywhere Israel goes, they have sex with the women of of, the, of those places. Because they they're not gonna they're not. not gonna shit. You dumb, you dumb motherfuckers, you, <laughs> you dumb ass niggas. <laughs> what do you think when they went to Vietnam, they sent their wives down with them? When Esau and Edomite soldiers went down there, did they send their wives and their children down there with them so they can so they can have houses, they could cook apple pies and shit? No, they just went to war, man. That's why now what they do now is they allow women to join the military. The real reason why they allow women to join the military and go out there to, to, so the men can pop them women, man. Okay? That's right. They ain't going to come out and tell you that. But that's why they allow women to go into the Middle East so men can go and pop them women, man. Because right. they might pop an Arab woman and fall in love, and fall in love with that Arab woman and tell tell where his position is and, and so forth man so you figure bring American women so you can pop them and right. they're married they're home they got kids and they're going over there talking about I'm doing the, my duty for the country man right. and they'll write letters to their husband yes everything's doing well not realizing that you might have just got popped by uh, some commanding officer man you dumb and you motherfucker uh, man you know what I agree with uh what uh, Henry Kissinger said about military men. Yeah, dumb. What's stupid. the statement? Military men, uh, men are military officers or men are nothing but dumb, stupid animals that are that are used for uh, foreign, uh, foreign policy. policy. Okay. 
You know? Good. And you guys are stupid. And then you get your legs blowed off, your fucking hands blowed off. Metal you plate. You have nothing but a, or a metal plate in your head, a, a, a fucking piece of wood stuck up in your ass. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Yeah. And then you happy about it, man. Yeah, happy about get, it. Get any video of a guy that's, that's blown half the fucking bits, and he's happy about it, man. Right. And, then, and I said, you're, you're, you're a better man than me. I mean, you're happy. All I did my did my duty, you know, to protect uh, America. And you stupid motherfucker, you, you dumbass. <laughs> you dummy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Even Ali uh, had the good sense not to go. To the so-called white man's war, he said, "Look, the white men, they wanted to send him halfway around the world to uh, Vietnam, or was it Korea? Korea, Vietnam. Okay, it was Vietnam." And uh, he said, "Look, the the yeah, that's right, it was Vietnam." He said, "The Vietnamese, they never called me nigger, you know, they never uh, deprived me of my rights. You so-called white people did." And you know what? Let me show you how stupid you niggers are, right? Back in World War One, World War Two, you dumb niggas wanted to go and fight in the war, and them white them crackers were so damn racist. They said we ain't fighting, we don't want you, and you niggas are fighting to go fight in some fucking war for this damn devil, man. How stupid can you be, man? The movie Soldier Story. Well, I was gonna say that, man. Con. How stupid can you be, man? Come, motherfucker! I said you don't, you racist. You don't want me to fight in your war? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll just keep your woman hat warm until you come back, sir. You stupid, you dumb. Any anybody that goes out and fight fight a war for a government, man. Oh, and I was checking out the word one video where this guy broke down the word government, and it and it's broken down into two words, yeah. and it basically means gubernatorial, gubernatorial, um, 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 men, menta or something like that. Which when you look it up, the word the, the word government literally means. When you look it up, it means government means control, and meant means or gov govern govern means control, and meant means mind. So the word government means to control the mind. Is it up? Is it, is it up? No, I, I didn't find it yet. No. Wow, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, I I I don't have anything. Well, they're gonna make it a point not to bring it out to you, but I forget. Where I saw it, but somebody said it. he broke it down, man. He said government is broken down into two words, which means to control the mind. Mm. And that's what it means. Mm. Go ahead, speak. Yeah, because that's basically what, what, the, what uh, the government does, is basically control your mind. That's why uh, they want you to send your children to public schools. Oh, so yeah. why? So when they, you send your children to public schools, they can uh, train them up the way the government wants them to be trained up. That's why the the, uh, the uh, majority of these children today are going out to be what a bunch of homosexuals and a bunch of lesbians. Why? Because through these schools, the the uh, um, uh, educational system is pushing that, and then they're showing anybody that that stands up against that that's in a prominent position. They they badmouth them. They find them to the point where they have to apologize, and and the and the, and the public out there sees this guy apologizing for he's supposed to have freedom of speech. He, they, he, they make him apologize for talking bad about a homosexual, which makes it seem to the rest of these people out here that it's all right to be a homosexual. That homosexuals have rights. And the only rights that they have is to be put to death. You know how the, gov the uh, government controlled schools, the public schools, uh, do not benefit you? Because they don't teach your children that they're Israelites. So you have no business, you know, you have no business... Um, Sending your kids to no fucking public school, man. Now you got brothers that are in the Israel that 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 you know the scriptures and all that. Now in your case, I can understand. I can understand that there. I can understand you sending your kids to public schools because you know why you teach him that truth and you have your son. He might be seven, eight years old. Have him constantly battle the teacher. Raise his hand, no, you were wrong. That's from this word, not from that word, you know? And then you know what they're going to wind up doing, man? They're going to expel him, or they're going to suspend him, and you're going to say, well, why are you expect? Because he talked against it. No, he asked a question, and he came with documents, and he showed his teacher that his teacher don't know what the hell he's talking about, man. But you niggas would say, well, where are we going to send our kids? 
why don't you niggas get together and open up a fucking school, man? Where's the black, go getting on the black unconscious community, all that shit about the community. Yeah. You niggas been talking about the community for I don't know how long, man. Yeah. Where's the schools at, man? School. You guys are standing right in front of the old 125th Street Mart that been closed for years, and you, ha you can't even get together and open that bad boy up, man. Right. What the hell are you doing, man? Right. What the hell y'all doing, man?